Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, we're doing a world tour and maybe what you're probably really asking yourself, a trove video, what are you doing? Uh, I thought you quit this game and I more or less have, but I uh, was requested uh, to uh, do a world tour of the, cl the club world we have and I was kind of saying sure, uh, but I was pretty sure we already have one, but apparently don't. I think we have a little bit in the uh, one of the milestone videos or something like that. I'm not sure. I remember recording something at least. I'm not sure <laughs> But now I'm doing a proper world tour of the uh, community club we have on PC And if you are interested in joining on PC here, uh, all you have to do is just you know uh, type on discord or something like that and i'll get you invited uh, the discord is in linked in the description you just uh, uh, you know whisper me there or type something in the general channel and we'll get you invited uh, whatever uh whenever sorry <laughs> uh so in the club also do have to talk about a little bit about the features we do have some fixtures uh, i'm going to really quickly going to talk about these so if you set this as your main club uh, i've set this uh, i've set lesseria as my main club as you can see set to primary says that because they have a lot more we haven't done that much with our club um but we are uh, you know a, you know few members here and there uh but the point is that if i set this as primary i can get these benefits that are here uh but these benefits are not really that good for me as an end game player but as a starting player these are pretty good um one of them is to get a 10 percent critical hit and then also a hundred percent extra a critical damage so you don't get a hundred percent crit no but you get 10 percent extra so you need 10 percent less if you have this as your main uh, a lot of club runs with this because there's not a ton of other alternatives to use and of course we also use the 15 percent extra physical damage and the 15 percent extra magic damage to all club members as it says and this is a club where you don't ever have to pay because we have the traveling merchant and i log in every day and i just you know do a few things and whatnot very very casual you know uh, maybe do the event or something like that but also you get 300 free qubits which you have to pay as you can see we have paid rent this week so these fixtures all work so you have to pay every single month to have it or I'm sorry every single week to make it run basically so when we get 300 uh, free uh, so basically uh, the club is always free you never have to pay to be part of it uh, some clubs has that because the, the cost is way higher when you get a lot more of them and also when you get like other fixtures and, and whatnot also we have the 100 percent extra uh, bonus experience which that mean that if i go to my stats right now i have 100 percent you see hundred uh, basically i'm getting gaining a hundred percent extra experience but if i had this as my primary i would get 200 percent experience all the time and they, these stack of course with um with saturdays when you get that extra experience as well and also with the potions and everything else so it's a really good idea to for example be part of our club for example if you're leveling up characters or if they, for example it was a week where you uh you know you don't have a lot of time and stuff like that but you do want to do the uh contest uh with the experience you know the getting all the experience for this week right two two and a half million getting these uh, leaderboard war chests then you can maybe just pop this on for one day and then grind a lot of experience if you you want to uh, do so so these are these uh, the fixtures we have here this is of course the the union and this is of course is the rally of the heroes and we're going to see that uh, later on when we are going to visit uh, all of these places so enough about all that and i think we just start at the beginning so we are in the main hub this is where we have all the different things over time different things has been added to here uh for example our gardening bench which every everybody that is part of the you know uh world can basically be using these as well also we got all the all the different chests and we got a chaos crafter looting and also we got of course a personal chest and bunch of benches that are some some of them are still in use and some of them are pretty much done it's not using like the radiant day spring still have that one one around but don't get that anymore for example bunch of other crafting benches and mount uh, benches and whatnot so there's just a ton of uh, benches basically all the way around here some old portals for some old events and stuff like that just a lot of uh kind of cool stuff uh so i think maybe it's easiest to just go out here we have a little chess set ready to be played 
Uh, just a little decorative thing, not really something you can use. But here is a um, basically a beacon pit, which basically you throw down your beacons if you do know what beacons is. I'm not gonna explain what that is, but there's a pit. You don't you throw them down here, and they can't get out. And you can basically defeat them without them moving around and destroying a whole bunch of stuff. We have a bunch of Christmas trees that is just always there. I didn't really put much, uh, you know, uh, Christmas. Uh, gifts in here this year, but uh, yeah, usually I put Christmas gifts under here so people can come grab them uh, That was that was at least something that was happening before uh, We can go out this way later. I just want to show over here before we get too far over here is a little thingy uh, I don't know gazebo thing uh, But it's just kind of fitting to put it in here right here and also I have a big logo up here if you can't see it I, this is one of the things I really wish that you would be able to because it's cool, really, really cool logo, but I would love to have it up here or behind or something else or more up in the sky because right here is taking off all the vision right here and you also you can't really see it and, and stuff like that. So I wish I could just move it over to somewhere else. Uh, basically, you should be able to just copy uh, something people made or something like that and then place it somewhere else, even in another club maybe or something like that. I'm not sure. But we do have the road going into one of these buildings and you might be wondering what is this? Well, this is all the subscribers I've ever had on my Twitch channel, starting with the very first one ever, going up f further and further. And, and of course, this means you can see Penn here has been uh, 20 months has he been a, re a sub to my channel. Uh, I do not stream anymore and stuff like that, but uh, maybe I do or uh, maybe I went back to it as you are watching this. But basically, all these houses are filled with people's names. And whenever you subscribe or you get gifted a, sub a subscription, you basically get put in here and you will forever, uh, you know, stay here. We also have one of the old, uh, not sure if I can find her, but one of the old uh, developers of the game actually also became a subscriber uh, at one point in the, uh, in the streaming business, I could say, or streaming time. I don't know if you call it like that, but all these houses are made for that and... Um, I really like them so I can always remember people and how long and forever they have a place in here for for me to remember so that's all the houses out here we can really quickly show over here we have some rules and stuff like that not really super important this should be a wizard tower I was actually trying to make like a uh, place where you could grow all your crops instantly uh, with the instant growers and also I made down here so you could be able to uh, actually put down your um, mushrooms and they would not have any light so they could actually be growing down here and I made a little uh, I guess basement to it uh, but it didn't really work out that well I'm not sure what I did wrong but uh, I know it worked before maybe the glass was too much or something like that not sure but um, yeah that's what this whole monstrosity I guess you can call it uh, is for um, so not really in really in, since they changed the thing that it's not really a thing anymore when it changed gardening So I think we're gonna move this way now. We're gonna move over in the castle uh, So this is mainly made by David one of my uh, moderators and uh, I made a little bit and I made a few boo-boos and stuff like that But anyways over here first if you go like this way first uh, You will find all the portals. So you might be wondering why we have all the portals now that we actually just you know open up the atlas and you just do that and you just click whatever you want to go, uh, but we used to had to use these portals, which is all you know worlds, and these are actually quite expensive, so it's kind of annoying that they moved it all just in here. But um, yeah, we used to just go here, and you can still use them; they still work. There's not anything there, and the numbers above them is the Uber world. So this is just regular Uber six, for example, and. This is seven, that is the fire worlds, and it's eight and nine, and nine just skylands and stuff like that. All of them is basically here. So we used to use this, and I actually used to use, so that's why there's a bunch of benches over here. Not too many, but it actually got collected a little few because um, over time, uh, I just spent so much time over here because I went from one world to the other. But now we never use it anymore because, yeah, you just open up your atlas and that's what you do. And, um, <clears throat> Well, yeah, it's still here because it's still cool though, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's why there's a bunch of portals. So uh, that's going to the left of it. And then we're going to go, if you go straight, we have a few uh, statues. We have one of David and we have one of Rick and we have one of me. 
Uh, actually, the costume I'm using right here. Uh, but uh, Breck is also a moderator of my uh, my stream and longtime friend. The same with David. And there's also a little uh, you know uh, you know sign to do that. But he made a few. He wanted to make a you know some. I, I don't know if you can call it pixel art, but at least it's like some statues, statues, pixel art, whatever. And back here we have the three fixtures, fixtures that is not up in the other place we're gonna go. But these are the ones. These are the that one is the um, what's it called? Um, that's the physical and magic damage one. This is the crit hit and crit damage one, and this is the experience one. And I just placed it in here uh, because at, that I wanted to to make it basically have a place in the in the world so it would be able to you know stay here and you can see it if you went here also it made kind of sense that we have one there and one there we also kind of tried to make ones out here but it doesn't really make a lot of sense for you know there's not really anything else to place anywhere but if you go back from the statues and you go down here in here we have the union and we have the rallying blade and that's the one I was showing you before when we were in this menu we were talking about these two and one is of course to summon uh, NPCs so you can get quests from these and the other one is to basically buy the different utilities and stuff like that not as a member you can do that but you can you can basically uh, you know what is it called uh, uh, what is it called donate yeah donate uh, those qubits to have the world uh, run or to buy more fixtures upgrading fixtures and stuff like that uh, it's still here but it's always free to do so but yeah uh, if you want to they also on the on the other side I don't know why did but I think it's because oh, I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> uh, but was there a blue one over this side there is actually a blue one over here I should actually encapsulate this one as well because you shouldn't make yours through here because they cost 10 aventurine per of these but if you do have the trellum merchant as we were talking about before uh he you can buy them for 8.5 instead of uh you know you make 10 by the way don't make one you make 10 when you click that craft button so you make 10 instead of just making one that's why it's you might wonder it's 85 that's a lot more than 10 yeah but it's actually i actually have to divide it by 10 so it's 8.5 uh per um uh club it so and also here you have the daily bonus uh, it's already been claimed but you get 300 here uh every single day just for having him and then of course the last one is to here you can buy all the fix uh, different things you want for adventuring like uh you know fragments for dragons and yeah so stuff stuff like that so he is also in the back here too, if you want to buy stuff from him um but yeah you should use them through this one and then donate it afterwards because you get more out of your mentoring but like i said it's not really necessary and even right now we have uh, fifteen thousand just here and we almost just paid rent so yeah that it does not really matter at the moment all right so moving on now we're gonna move a little bit um coming over here we got the uh tree uh french tree of friendship i think it's called uh it's just a it's an all it's a basically a tree that's pre-made and i just kind of liked it because it was a friendship and stuff like that and then i just placed it down here and it's pretty i like it it's pretty cool um if you follow the road here uh it, you're gonna see in the distance here a, a, a big tower thing um this is the shadow towers not the real shadow towers uh but as, as you can see under construction the bridge is almost out there's a lot of uh, darkness and stuff like that going on and you kind of have to parkour your way over here. Uh, but basically, this is just a, a, a shadow, a replica of kind of or imagined of this shadow tower. So, for, first of all, all of this is like encapsulated almost in lava. Oh, and I jumped right into the lava. Um, it's kind of encapsulated in lava. There's just a bunch of lava all over the place, uh, just all all over the place. And on the left here, there's actually also the um, what is it called? The um, the corruption is also spreading from the shores of Everdark, the ones that are out here. Uh, basically, there was also portals back then that you had to use to get out here. And you can see the corruption is spreading through the lava and stuff like that because there's just uh, that evil places, basically, in Trove. <laughs> it's just a little bit of role-playing, I guess. You can call it like that. But you can enter the Shadow Towers here. Basically, this is, of course, the like this is the Shadow Tower itself. And... Um, 
and this is what you would usually but it's just a prettier more fancy place to kind of have your uh portals and stuff like that and then it goes like further up uh, to like a big hole here where there's a bunch of stuff and and, and whatnot and then of course there's a portal to come back if you don't really want to just run it uh, back and forth there is a, a red portal here uh takes you back to the main hub where we were at so basically we were out there and um yeah then there's just a portal they're gonna you're probably gonna use more to go back and forth when the um gardening update hit they they introduced a got like a garden or a greenhouse sorry and i just really liked it so i placed the one down uh, and i made a crop uh, kind of thing so you just plant a row of three and you use your tractor to go back and forth on that and then you basically have all your crops and with a little label on it and, and whatnot but it is kind of cool to make like kind of uh in captions i guess you can call it for every single crop that is there uh back here is there a uh, fixture also a pre-made fixture uh thing or is it what is it I, it's not called fixtures but um platform whatever thing but i just really liked it and i placed it down and then here it, it basically is so this is a little in yeah basically embedded kind of thing i don't sure if you're gonna go like that but anyways let's move on uh to some pixel art that was made by david uh he placed it uh like right here i would i would have i've talked talked about it i would really love him to have moved it and that's why i would like just take it and copy it and just move it somewhere else because i really really like it uh but uh, you know, I kind of want it not to be right next to the hub. I would like to have it having a sex special area uh, that I'm going to show you also that there's some more pixel art somewhere else also as well. And some even more pixel art by, by David. And basically that's it. And down here, there's a community builds people have made and stuff like that. So um, there's a few areas. Uh, see if I can take my... Yeah, so... This is basically open to everybody. This is also kind of open to everybody. And then it's kind of it for what we need to be built because it's not really something necessary to be built. And I made a little structure over there. Uh, not really anything crazy, but uh, if you take this uh, yellow portal, you get basically back to the area here. If you then now take the, I think the blue portal takes you to, yeah, that's a blue portal takes you there. Where's the green portal takes you? Oh, the green portal, yes. The, the green portal takes you to the other pixel art that's, mostly made by rec he made the most of the uh, pixel art over here there's a bunch of it i'm not gonna like go through it all but he has made a bunch of it and it's you just take the green portal to there and then you are basically set to uh, go there uh but the blue portal let's do that one because it's this is basically as you can probably see the the guy over there and you can probably see on here but it's basically the um if you look up there it's right up there and it was a fishing hub that i made and I, that's also why it's not centered anymore because we had to move the hub a little bit because it was not centered but then the, this was not set now this is not centered and i can't really want to move all of that to whatever but it was kind of to meant to be like a floating island that was going to be like a fishing hub because in here of course you have the plasma you have the fresh water you have the lava and you have the chocolate and basically all of this you could just uh, fish all your fish in this and it would basically work right so that's why we made i made it like you know four um four different zones to basically you know um have your crops or sorry you have fishing going on here so that's pretty cool but now you can't move it and i also want it to be higher and stuff like that just wish that there was a creative mode or something like that that you could change or move anything you wanted and stuff like that that would that'd be pretty cool to be honest so i think that is actually it we looked at the uh the castle there we looked at the shadow towers over there we looked all the way around here we looked at the pixel art so basically i think that is the whole thing it actually took longer than i actually expected and now it's getting a little bit dark so now you can basically see it a little bit more at night time i guess that's uh it gets a little little more dark and uh, loomy i guess uh but yeah, I think that's the that's the whole tour. Uh, like I said, I think it was it took longer than I actually <laughs> thought it was going to be. But yeah, pretty cool. I, I love all the ping things that people have built and stuff like that. Uh, mostly it's 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 da David and Rec that's built stuff, but uh, added a few things here and there. And um, yeah, a few people come. It has uh, had 
spin with some ideas and stuff like that that we have built and as, as well so i think that does it i think i've rambled on enough and i think i've also messed messed it up more than i actually needed to do but we made it through and i just want to thank you so much for watching this world tour of club of who and again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye